<laughs> you know what? This project is really cool. You see the sound over there? It's based on my voice. And if I do ah, ta-da, locked. And what happened is that I modified the cloud variable of the sound over there. And this cloud variable, it's saying, hey, the sound is over a threshold, uh, threshold over there. And uh, it means that it's uh, notifying online that uh, a sound was detected. So it's basically a var cloud sound detector online. And you know what? In Scratch, you also have the video. And doo -doo 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 -doo. so now we have a value over there with saying, hey, something moved over there. And you just put an anti-spam to avoid being blocked like me because I spam too much. <laughs> and uh, you have an online sound and video detector on Scratch. And Scratch is playable on all phone, device, Raspberry Pi, everything you need. So if you want a Raspberry Pi who track the sound and the video of your house, I, thank you, I mean, here, ta-da! And so how you can read those values, you go over there on Scratch Mid Edu Cloud Mono and you have all the value over there saying uh, when the sound went trigger, uh, from which camera if you have several accounts, uh, and you can have here uh, some other, in fact, you will have the value that is changed. And if you want to use it as uh, C Sharp or Python, you just take this address over there. So you uh, go over there, then you say project equal this ID that you can find here. And then you say how many offsets, you, uh, limit you want an offset, and you will have this beautiful Python. And if you put it in your C Sharp uh, project or Python project, you can read those values every three seconds. And like this, you can be aware of uh, who did what at, which, at what time, what value, and stuff like this. So, yeah, if you want to have a, a cloud detector, uh, yeah, where are you? Where, are you? where am I? If you want to have a sound and video detector, here is how you can do it. So, let's check on the code behind it. So you go here, you press here, and you say that you want to have the camera over there. You will have those stuff that is now available. You say, when I start, I want to trigger the video. And uh, I want to have it transparent over there. Then you say, I want a threshold to avoid, uh, to be able to calibre uh, the intensity of the sound and the moving on the camera over there. You said that you want a rotation for your little son over there. You put an anti-spam that you want to be able to set up here uh, if you want. This anti-spam will allow you to not spam the server and be blocked because if you spam too much, the server block you. Then you put a forever that will say, hey, I want to track forever. Those value to rotate the, the sun over there. Um, it's between zero and 100. And uh, in the if you say, if the loadiness of the microphone is over the threshold I decided, so here, for example, it is 40% of the microphone. Uh, I want to modify the cloud variable with a random value uh, to be able to check if it changed. Um, and then I wait for a little bit of time to avoid spamming. And then I put it back to zero to be able to debug. Uh, same for the video. So the video, they will send an event saying, hey, the video is moving for the moment and the intensity is over the threshold you decided. So what do you want to do? And here you modify the cloud variable of the video detector with a random value. Then you wait to avoid spamming. And uh, basically that's how you can do a voice video detector that run on Raspberry Pi, phone, Windows, whatever device you have at house. Just run that on it and ta -da, you have an online detector for your video and your sound. Now you just need to do a Python script that listen to that, or a C-sharp script that listen to that, and ta -da! So I hope it's useful for you. Feel free to find the project on my, uh, on my Scratch or in the video description. I hope it's useful to you. May the code be with you. See you next time.